Hello and welcome back to a brand new series on the channel. This is Survival Challenge 2. Now as you can see we are in a beautiful mountainous and serene looking area. Oops, sorry mate. And uh, we are making our way to one of the very few things that we actually own in this world. Uh, one of which is a bit of land. So we will go and make our way there because we do need some sort of land. The other thing is this beautiful John Deere AMT 600. This will be our starting vehicle. We have no tractor, no trailer, and we also have a handy dandy hand saw. That's it. But we also have these gorgeous mountains surrounding us everywhere. It is absolutely beautiful. This map is going to be perfect for a survival challenge especially if you have seen my previous survival challenge it ended in a very quick fashion very unfortunate to say the least i had a bit of an, a save game file issue and it uh, unfortunately i lost the entire thing so this is basically survival challenge reloaded if you will or revived or whatever but i've simply decided to call it survival challenge 2 which the name is apt indeed. Right, well we will we'll make our way to our bit of land. Um, as you can see we've got a beautiful uh, village area here so we'll probably come here quite often to sell some product and uh, chat with the locals of course. Uh, now I know what you're thinking about this, it's possibly oh you've got yourself a very quick vehicle. Well it might be quick but it's not gonna hold uh, a heck of a lot of things. So obviously our first mission is to head to our patch of land and I think I'm going the right direction. Uh, we will, oh we're leaving Gueville which is the uh, the main village. As you can see there's a, a full on dual carriageway as well. Uh, which, oh my, right, okay. We've got some floaty cars as well. Need to be very cautious of those. Uh, there are a few very interesting things about this map as well, which we will discover as we crack on with it. Uh, but I really should pop open the map here so we can see where we are going. Now, as you can see on this version of the map, there are no... F well, there's one field down at the very bottom, and I believe field two down there is where you actually start uh, on new farmer mode if you were to be so inclined to do so. So they do give you a bit of land and, and one field. Now, I've opted for a bit of space that has no fields, as you do, but it does have a fair amount of trees. So you can only imagine what we are going to do to get started. But, alas, trees are not the only way that we can make some money early days. I'm very excited to share this with you. Now, maybe you've played this map. By the way, the map name is New Lands. Uh, it has been a, a bit edited for me for a bit more of a... To, well, let's say to add a bit more to the map in terms of adding it, uh, or making it, rather, as a survival challenge. Uh, now, I don't quite remember. I've never actually driven down to this area. All I know is that we do own a fairly small patch of land. Oh, we're nearly there. So it is going to be patch or field area 148 out of many, many, as you can see. Uh, I've decided on 148 because it is fairly central to the entirety of the map. And it gives us lots of room to expand outwards, which is really, really wicked. Um, I do have to sort of start defining our our border here, because we do need to, now that we're here, which is fantastic, uh, we do need to see... Ah, perfect. So, luckily it goes up to this path here. There is a bit of a, a an area there, and then also here as well. Uh, pretty much level, actually, with uh, that road there. 
So we'll just uh, we'll drive our small patch of land to get a feel for it. So yeah, pretty much from here and then up. Let's just check the map again. Yeah, so I think these trees on my left will be ours as well. So yeah, some very substantial trees indeed. And uh, I've got a bit of bush here and that. So lots of land. It's uh, a bit hilly, as you can see, which will add even more to the challenge. Um, and then we should have a path... Looks like on the... Oh, yes, there we go. On the mini-map, we have a small track here that goes around the back or front, depending on where we're at. And it runs down to, I believe, a T-junction of a another sort of uh, path. So everything in here on the left-hand side is ours. Ah, oh, yes, here you are. And now this, and then we go down this way to the main road once again. And Oh, hello. And everything on our left is... What is going on? Bit of a blockage there, some kind of collision. Right. That's very strange. Oh, weird. Is this... It says there's something here, but I can't move it. Am I holding something? Oh, I am. What is that invisible thing? Right, very strange. I'm going to try something. I'm going to get the delete thing and just see if I can delete this invisible object. I cannot. Hmm, that's problematic. But, you know what I will do? Is I will just move it to... I'm going to move it over here in the hopes that I don't really come over this way. Right, we're just going to leave it there. Whatever it is. Already mystery in this... <laughs> <laughs> New survival challenge. Right, so as I was saying, <laughs> we're going down this way to the main road once again, and everything on our left is ours. Now, the the thing that I do find a bit challenging is that we, are, we do have a finite amount of trees, uh, which means that once we're out of cutting trees, we have no other way really to make money unless we start making fields, which is kind of the plan, but of course we need a tractor and implements for that. So that will be definitely part of the challenge. I think, though, I would like to start on this side of the area so that we can start sort of uh, getting our border out so that we don't have to constantly check the map as to where we need to start. Is that a floating tree as well? Right, so, yeah, there's probably going to be little things. Well, that's very strange. I will sort that out in time. Actually, this could be a good first one to cut, if we can. Brilliant. And uh, I do have the Lumberjack mod as well. Oh, it's completely gone, the tree. I was going to say, I do have the Lumberjack mod. Yeah, right, so it gets rid of it. Okay, brilliant. Yeah, because we don't want to faff with stumps either. Uh, we could eventually get a stump grinder in the future. But for the amount, since we're not really planning on doing trees beyond the initial sort of, I guess cutting, if you will, uh, of trees, then uh, I'm not too worried about uh, about that at all. Anyways, I think the first thing we should really do is uh, get a tree cut and just see how much we can actually fit in our little John Deere here. If we can afford a tractor within this first episode, that would be brill, but we shall have to see. Right, so we will just get this cut. This is a very big tree. Timber! Right, now, if we can do that would be absolutely stellar if we can. That is brilliant. I'm just going to do that uh, because it just, yeah, it saves us a load of faff, that's to say the least. Now we'll go along and chop down all of the branches, as you do. Uh, as with my other survival challenge, my first survival challenge series, um, I won't do an awful lot of time lapse of of moving trees because it is very dizzying when you're going like this all the time back and forth back and forth and it can get a bit nauseating so I won't I won't suffer you that but as I said the trees are not the only thing that we can do to get us started now around the map there are little areas and actually you know what before we really get started in this let's fly up a bit and have a look at the map itself from above Mountains everywhere. I absolutely love that there are mountains in literally every direction you look. 
really pleased about that. As you can see there, that's the main sort of farm that you start at. Um, it's got a nice little field there and all. And uh, yeah, nice little land. But we're not going to worry about that. We're not going to move in there or anything either. What I do want to show you is stuff like this. Now, what is going on here, you might ask? Well, you can see the little recycling logo on there. Here, we will just remove our speed and our flight. Uh, this is a, a mattress. So you see Eco Mattress. And uh, here we've got Eco Wheel, Eco Barrel, Eco Plank, etc, etc. There is an Eco Station on this map that allows us to essentially recycle rubbish that we find scattered about the map. Which is very, very cool. And it adds a bit of an extra sort of you know whatever to the map itself adds an extra challenge right because this gives us an opportunity to make some money on the side if we find ourselves out of trees or out of money or just simply want to switch it up i am seeing as well that we are at negative two pounds uh, which normally would be for the chainsaw but we're not using a chainsaw so that is a bit problematic maybe maybe we can keep an eye on the fuel finances or something like that and just add it in uh, yeah see with it open it we're losing money so I am going to probably rectify that it is only a handful of pounds that's absolutely fine but we'll be conscientious of that right our first bit of wood is in and very exciting for it as well we could possibly get away with making them a bit longer if we can open up this back bit here oh we can do right but now is there going to be a collision on that aha that's pretty cool maybe we'll get some nice longer pieces here and we can start doing that as well would like to put the heavy ones on the bottom though um, yeah we'll just uh, we'll get a few big ones in and we'll see how this goes I don't know what kind of power this thing has to haul uh, wood like this so hopefully it's all right but um, I suppose we could probably get another one or two on there right there we are brilliant so we also have to find out where the sawmill is yeah we're really gonna benefit ourselves to get a trailer as soon as we can do uh, well and a tractor actually unless this thing can have a hitch oh is that just the one strap Oh good. Oh bless. Um, it looks like it might do. It looks like it might do. I've added quite a few interesting mods, to be honest, onto this playthrough. Because I look forward to using many, uh, many different kinds of mods as well. And I haven't made any sort of uh, rules for this except for no leasing. That's one thing I'd like to avoid doing, is leasing out vehicles we will not be doing that why can't I strap this now hmm that's problematic that's fine as long as we can strap it here that's all right um I do feel like we can get one more on that well let's see let's drive around let's see oh yeah we can definitely get at least one more on there this first uh, first episode of course is going to be a bit uh Maybe on the slower side, <laughs> as it um, is always with the first of a, of a new series, especially a survival challenge. Uh, but yes, rule-wise, no leasing, no vehicle leasing. That's uh, something I want to stick to as well. So we have to buy everything that we that we use. Um, other than that, there's no not really any sort of rules as to what we can and cannot do. Uh, leasing is a big one. I'm sure I'll think of them as we come across them, uh, rule-wise. But... I wonder if that's supported. Oh, nice. Right, we've just made room for another one. At least one more. Oh, hello. Now, hopefully the sawmill's not very far away. Right, we're going to be a bit cheeky and get one more on. I have no idea how much we're actually going to earn from this wood, but... It would be nice to get loads, at least enough so that we can get a head start on a tractor. Now, luckily, I have a few... Ooh, that was very near. I think we're good. Look at that. We are in the money now. All right. It's a bit funny looking, but that's fine. Um, 
because it's still made of money. So, where is the... Oh, brilliant. So, there's a carpentry there, but we have to see where can we sell actual wood. Because I don't want to bring it there and then find out we can't sell it there. So as you can see, there's loads of different things here. We've got we've got heating that we can sell. Well, eventually, uh, firewood in bulk, bamboo. We've got loads of different things on uh, that we can do. All of the uh, DLC items as well. But where is straight up wood? It should be near the top. There's wool. Must be missing it. There's wood chips. But no, no wool. Oh, no wood. Surely we'll be able to sell it at the uh, at the carpentry. If not, there's another a carpentry. Carpentry. All these people. I think you can do contracts specific to individual people as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, worst case, though, we will have to find it. Oh, there's greenhouses as well. So that's something we could potentially buy. I would like to stick to just doing our own thing here, but it is cool that we have that. Also, the eco center is all the way up here at the top. So what I might do is start around here with some of findings and that to find some, some uh, recyclable stuff, if you will. And then we can start with that. I think our best bet is to go down this way and see what uh, what is down there. So for the first little bit, I'll put... Oh, no, I've lost a bit of wood. Blimey. How, how has that happened? You stay there, you cheeky bugger. Might lose it again. Oh, it's very precarious. I was going to say, for the first little bit, uh, we will definitely be doing time lapses driving around and that. Uh, but of course, this uh, scenery is pretty much the same all the way around. So, we shall see. Sorry, I'm a bit distracted here with this. Oh, I suppose we could have got another, got away with another bit of wood. First episode struggles, as you do. I'll take that. Could have got more on, but that's fine. We are on the way. I'm curious to see how much we actually get for this amount of wood. A nice little path there is uh, our land. So yeah, I'm very pleased with uh, not only this map for uh, for a survival challenge, it really does give us a nice opportunity to sort of explore um, you know the treed areas and see what how we can build it our own way and everything I'm very pleased about this and very pleased that there is sort of a village because it, it for example with no man's land it's just literally no man's land there's nobody around um, whereas this at least there's a bit of a village and people and that so we can go to our own I imagine yeah open this ourselves it, it is nice to have the uh, serenity of our own sort of our own place but it is also nice to be able to uh, see some sort of civilization as well right where are we going I'm going to enable the interactive zones okay so these are productions if I'm not mistaken um, I think this was the the actual carpentry one up here so I'm hoping usually that little I icon there means that you can sell nice okay so I imagine we put the wood here I'm gonna try that hopefully it doesn't just take it away hopefully it actually sells it please don't steal my my wood right so having that five pounds down I might just add five pounds on to whatever we get uh, from this wood if we get anything from it all right not very much at all 700 pounds so that's all right Plus, we'll add that five for the fuel costs, which we didn't have to actually use uh, because we have a handsaw. Well, there we go. We didn't get very much wood, uh, or money rather, from the wood, but that is fine. Um, oh, also, I do have seasonal growth on, so here's to hoping that we can uh, get some sort of crop in the ground before winter. Uh, we have until, I don't know if there's a special sort of uh, crop calendar for this map or not. But we do have, so we can put in wheat in October and, uh, of course, grass. Oh, we can also do linseed up until November. That's pretty good. And linseed is a nice paying crop as well. So it's very possible that we'll get some uh, some linseed in the ground. Right, where is our place? There it is. Um, oops, sorry about that. 
Now I'm very curious to see uh, how much we can get from this these eco products. Um, I suppose that would be an interesting thing to try next versus getting more wood. I would like to try that. So what I think I'll do is I'll make our way to the... I wonder if we can take sort of a, a back way. Yeah, we can. I'm going to go this way. And I'm going to see if we can... Uh, where's the path? Here we go. If we can find some eco products nearby. We do have the ones over there that we saw, but I'd like to um, I'd like to see what else we can find. So let's take this path round. I might do this in a bit of a time lapse just to be able to get to where we're going, but if I see a pile of rubbish, I will stop. Oh, there's a pile of rubbish. Beautiful. Fantastic. <laughs> rubbish. Love it. <laughs> okay, let's load some up and see how this goes. Okay, we'll start with some barrels. Actually, I wonder if we can put these flat on the bottom. Maybe we can be a bit cheeky about it. Hmm, that looks like not the case at all. I'm not sure how the collision works on these, but if we can, I wonder if I can put a barrel on top of it to make it stay nice. Oh no. Oh, barrel's running away. Because if we have a drag on here, then it will be very problematic indeed. But, I don't know. Let's try it. Come on, you. Come on, physics. Hey, there we go. Hey! Right, this isn't dangerous at all. Just need to be very conscientious of how we're driving and such. I wonder if I can be cheeky about that. Nope. Right, right. We'll put it here. I wonder how cheeky can I get. Let's see if I can implement maximum cheek. Uh, by putting many things on here. I know we can't strap... Oh, no. Won't be able to strap it down proper, no. That's okay. Here, let's... Uh, yeah, the strap function's a bit wonky at the moment, but... Anyways, let's try and see what we what else we can actually get in here. Maybe we can put this in the side, on this side here. Oh, brilliant. That's nice. I don't... We won't be... Oh, my. We won't be able to get this whole pile of rubbish in, but if we can get some decent money from, from doing this, then absolutely why not? Okay, you stay like that. And I'm gonna... Nope, stay like that. Let's try this. Oh, go on. Hey, look at that. We are figuring it out. Now this would be well cheeky. If I can balance... Oh, I've just put them far enough apart. That's no problem at all. I don't want to get too cheeky with it, but I think that would be... Oh, wow. It does not like being sideways at all. Just for me, please. Thank you. Um, Right. I think that's good. I'm going to try and get this bit of wood in as well. Might as well do. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant this is. It's a bit different than the start of my uh, previous survival challenge, which I was very excited about doing, but yeah, having that file save issue, now I actually do know, though, how to, to, to deal with that, like as far as backing up saves and all that. Uh, so I should never knock on, you know, touch wood or whatever, that I shouldn't have any other sort of issues like that in the future. But we shall see. That looks really nice, that. Well, as far as rubbish on my John Deere goes. Uh, these barrels can wait for the next time. But I think that is, uh, that's that's on there. That's really good. Right, so this is probably the opportunity we'll take for a time lapse. I just want to sort of map out my way to that. We could just tag it and that will help. I think we'll go back through the main village and then... Yeah, seems like all the way up that way around, past where we were, past towards the shop, and up and around. So that is the path that we'll take, and we'll come back for that wood another time, not a problem. Oh, 
Alright, we have arrived. Um, unfortunately, I did go the wrong way before, as you could tell, but I was able to find my way through the forest, and now here we are. Alright, so there are actually instructions. So you put it into the trailer, and you dump it into the thing. Now, how... Oh, I see. Right, and we're meant to get up there somehow. I suppose I could just throw it in, but the trigger is up there as well, so let's see. Must be a way up around the side. Right, so we've got a uh, stone crusher here as well. Hopefully we can make it up. Uh, also, as you can see, we did lose one of our bits there, one of our bits of wood. Not a problem. I'm sure we'll find more in the future, or we'll go back for it. Now, let's have a look here and see. Now, without putting the whole thing in, I think... Alright, so let's unstrap. Okay, that's going in. Brilliant. I think there's a way we can actually tip. Oh, yes. <laughs> that is amazing. Get out. Get out. We don't need you. Get out. Get out. Get out, please. Please get out. Okay. Fine. Do you by hand. Oh, no. Oh no, we've we've uh, got rubbish attached to us here. Ah, there we go. Oh, brilliant. Okay, that's all in. Now let's see. Moment of truth. How much will we get for all this? Oh, we sell it. Oh, we sell it like a shop. Hey, that's all right. Right, they're not worth much, but barrels, 131 pounds a pop. Right, let's get it all sold. Nice, we're over a thousand pounds now. Look at that, 1,284. So we didn't get quite as much as we did from the wood, so I think wood will be the focus. But if we can get, like, a nice stack of barrels, then I think it would work out really nicely. I love that. Here, we'll put that back on. And uh, we should now head back and uh, get started a bit more. But I think that this has been an interesting start to... Uh, the episode. Now, before we uh, do end the episode, because I, I think, I think this is a good start. I, I wanted to introduce things, uh, sort of get a taste for the uh, the map a little bit here as well. Um, I would like to drive back through the town just a bit to uh, kind of show you. I know we should really crack on with getting money <laughs> for uh, for all of our things that we need to do, but uh, we are we are going to be fine. By the way that we're going, it's going to be fine. We'll be able to afford a tractor, hopefully sooner than later. I will show you a few of the mods that I've added as well. Because I have put in uh, a fair few mods. I, a lot of them I actually... Oh, is that some rubbish? Well, there's loads of rubbish here. Hmm, I wonder how much those big tires are. They must be worth something. Let's do one more load of rubbish just to see what a few more items are worth. Right, let's see if we can open this nice. So we know that the barrels are worth about 130 pounds, but what about this? Here, we'll remove that again. This has to be worth some fair bob. That is a big, bloody big tire. Is that even going to work? Does that even... Well, luckily we're not going very far with it, but if we can get it on here and still sit down... Then happy days. Nice. Okay, let's get that one on as well. Can it go in the middle? No, it can't. It's fine. Right, that's that's real. Let's put some barrels on top just because we can do. <laughs> right. Should have brought one of the other barrels as well just to see how much they're worth. But I think this would be a really uh, good thing to do to be able to test out sort of the uh, the various prices of everything. And again, it is a finite amount, so we do need to be conscientious of the fact that, yes, we do want to get as many of these sort of things as we can, but we also need to make certain that we don't use it all up, because um, we do need, obviously, um, to do farming. That's the whole point. We, we are going to get there eventually. We, uh, we are just starting out on a, in a very unique way, let's say, to say the very least. Right, let's get a uh, thousand pound load, shall we, if we can do? That would be really, really good. I'd still like to do a, a little tour of the uh, of the village before we 
before we move on or end the episode, but I would also like to uh, let's get that strapped in. Would also like to start making some cash. Right, don't want to uh, cheese it too much here. I have it too stacked up. We'll get very uh, might get in trouble with the locals, but if we can, now this is the way to do it. Is that not too heavy? I suppose they they don't really have a weight to them, do they? Because we're able to lift them by hand, so it is a bit cheeky, but... Oh, go on, we'll get one more barrel on, then. I am I am f rather smitten by the, uh, the landscape here. I'm very pleased... Right, that's not going to work very well, is it? That's fine. Can we put it on top? Come on, get us one more barrel. There we go. Nice. Is that going to work, though? Oh yeah, brilliant. Right, we're on our way. That barrel on the left-hand side, though, is very precarious. But we'll see if we can make it. Oh, that's very sketchy. Here, I will close the gates as I as I leave. Should have done that with the uh, eco center as well. Right, if we can make it to there without losing that barrel, that would be very nice. Very nice indeed. I'm going to say that this is... So if that's about 130 per barrel we've got maybe what is that three four and a half maybe 500 pounds in barrels and then if that oh no night nice I don't <laughs> oh this is exhilarating barrel balancing oh yes we just need to oh put it back in its place very careful. At least we're here now. Or I was just going to say, at least we're here now. We can uh, come back for it in just a moment. Up we get. Brilliant. Alright. Now we'll do... Oop. Don't want to drive in there ourselves. Blimey. Now how is this going to work? Let's see. No, wrong way. Oh, I've just died. I've got a barrel to the head. Blimey, look at that. That is not on. Get back in there, Beryl. You mind yourself, please. Must be nice to the eco barrels. Right, we'll get this one in. Oh. Let go of it a bit prematurely there. And we're all set. Now, what do we get for these big bloody wheels? 200 pounds. Right, this, let's see, is going to be 1,000 pounds. It should be over 1,000 pounds at this point. Oh, we just broke two thousand pounds. Nice. Oh, twelve hundred pounds. Absolutely brilliant. So yeah, you can really get quite a bit on there um, if you if you really try. If we had a massive trailer, then uh, then that would be even better. We will need a trailer eventually for grain and such. But uh, as it stands, yeah, I think that uh, we're off to a bit of a, a bit of a start indeed. Now, we are going to, as I said before, we are going to head to the uh, to the town, or the village, I suppose. It might be a, yeah, it's Gwevil, Gwevil, not too sure. I think the map maker's name is uh, G-W-E, something like that. So that's why that's the name of the village, which is uh, very astute indeed. But yeah, I, I am really enjoying it. But my, look at that. Just put here, let's get a bit of first person in. But, oh, is there a train? Nope, no train coming. Brilliant. But yeah, look at that. Could you imagine just seeing... I mean, seeing mountains like that. Just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Right. Turn. Make sure no cars are coming. Beautiful. Hello. Oh, there's a... can put something there. Right, so these are all cell points, I imagine, by the looks of it. Ah. Here, I'm going to just put this to the side. Sorry, mate. I'm just going to stick that there. We'll come back for it and at some point. Oops, sorry, mate. Climbing your car. Uh, but yeah, very, very nice. We can go to the uh, the farmer's market here. I don't know if that's a parking spot. Let's, let's go where we started, really. Let's park up here for now. We'll head back to... I can't really say head back to the farm because it's not really a farm yet, but... Yeah, so we can bring things in here and... To the village of Hope and never ate bread as good as French bread. Hello? If you ever go to France, try French bread. If you ever go to France, try French bread. Right, mate, appreciate that. 
thanks. So the uh, the locals will talk to you as well. I I'm sure there's so much more we're going to discover here. I'm going to remove the uh, interactive zone so we can be more interactive. This guy's doing a log demonstrate. Do you chat? I hope you're planning to stock up on firewood to sell over the winter. A lot of people count on you and me to drink their hot chocolate in front of their fireplaces. Do they? Right. Okay, people are counting on me for firewood. Are you serious, mate? I suppose we should probably look into making firewood as well. Uh, we won't chat to all of them right away, but uh, yeah, just gorgeous. I mean, to have a little little farmer's market store like this in the mountains would be absolutely stunning. Right, before we I ramble everyone here to death, let's go to our... Uh, to our equipment and see what we so what we have is these two things which is really nothing anything on on offer that we cannot buy straight away oh that would be good but no we're gonna have to wait so the first thing we'll do is we'll look at tractors small tractors because this is what we'll need first off we need at least this and a cultivator to start making some land yes we could use a plow but I have included the mod that allows cultivators to create land uh, which is just to help a bit with the faff. I, I have no uh, field stones on, no uh, periodic plowing, anything like that, just to help with the flow of it. I have kept weeds on, I've kept on um, the uh, calendar, uh, crop calendar and all that sort of thing, like growth cycle, seasonal growth, that's what I'm after. Uh, but yes, here we go. So our cheapest tractor to date is 7,500, but I have added some modded ones as well. So we do have this one, which was my, <laughs> actually the Super Tiger 635 was the starting tractor in the last uh, survival challenge. So we don't have a tractor yet. That would be a, an option there. But I think there are some that are a bit more inexpensive. So that's 21, that's a bit much. 12, that's a nice, nice tractor there. Um, oh wow, it's got a lot of power as well got the farm moles and that this is one that would be very interesting because it's 5700 so that could be kind of our goal is around that price and um, I would really like that we've got Polly count as well one of his uh, mates good uh, friend of mine there uh, the Fiat 420 that's an option and we do have some really nice tractors that we can look at in the future as well Ooh, even cheaper than that would be a brilliant starting tractor the Massey 35 hmm Peter J does make a fantastic Massey. As you can see, I've got many of his Masseys here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, maybe we should start off with the 35, because then it's even cheaper than that. 42, 45, but how much more is the 45? Ooh, okay. So it's a little bit more, but at least we could start with something. Um, what other options have we got? See, so yeah, I've got these. Oh, I love these. These look so good. Yeah, but they are a bit out of our price range for right now. I believe I've got some older Eastern European... Yeah, I've got the Z-Tours here as well. Uh, 5,000 were at the... So around this price is possible to get a tractor, which is really, really nice. Uh, oh, that one's actually even uh, four-wheel drive on there. So that is a very interesting option. This one here for 7,500. But again, I would like to start with the Massey 35. I think that would just be really nice for our survival uh, aspect, if you will. But we shall see, because we'll have to look at uh, cultivators and all that as well. Um, I have a few different mods in here. So whatever we can really support. Um, oh, rollers also. So I've just added in a bunch of what look like inexpensive mods um, to get us started at the very least. But yeah, there we have it. I think another fly-up before we sign off would be appropriate. Just to get a nice feel. Look at this beautiful little village. Got bridges over there. Um, got loads of trees. Got eco center over there. And uh, yeah, really nice. The dual carriageway is wicked. I just, I love the aspect that there's civilization here. But as soon as you get over here, it's there's nothing. And our little land is... Oh, hello, balloon. Hello there. Is right around here, I think. Should be able to see the tree that we fell. Oh, yeah, that's our barrels there that we need to collect as well. So, yeah, really, really pleased. And again, I can't get over. Look at that. Just beautiful view. Stunning. Everywhere you look, there's bloody mountains. And we've got a train as well. Probably sell a few fair things on the train in the future. But... That will do us for episode one of Survival Challenge. Very, very excited to get this series really started. Obviously, episode one is a bit of a 
get to know you sort of thing I suppose uh, we know the map now we have an idea of where we want to go uh, equipment and implement wise and uh, hopefully we can get our first field in and get a bit of linseed or a bit of crop in um, so that we can actually have some winter crop and have something to sell in the spring because of course we'll have trees to cut and eco rubbish to sell as well but we really really do want to crack on with the farming because farming in this landscape would be fantastic so that's enough from me thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed this first survival challenge video cheeky thumbs up really helps out and please subscribe so you can see the future of the series unfold as it does as always, thank you so much for watching, and until the next one, please do take care, and bye for now.